we have Gord Stewart joining us from the Big Little Science Center. Welcome back to the show, Gord. It's good to be back. Absolutely. It's good to have you back. So we're, of course, we always do a fun little experiment with Gord. But before we get to that, how are things going at the Science Center? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. We're starting out the spring again. We have a robotics club on Thursday night started up and going. So there's still a bit of room in that if anybody wants to join. So just check our website out and uh, get the details on that. But it's running through until spring break. Oh, Every nice. Thursday after school, we do... Uh, we have Lego Mindstorms robots, so they get to build up a design and build their robot program to do things and interact with this environment. So That's really neat. It's usually a lot of fun. So anybody interested in that. And a lot yeah. of drop-in too, You're, you can just yeah. pop in, right? Yeah, Tuesday uh, to Saturday, 10 to four, we're open for drop-in. Okay. So during the school year like this, we don't have a sh demos on during the week, but on the Saturday, there's a demo at 11 and 1.30, which is included in the drop-in. Okay. So if you're interested this weekend is magnetism this Saturday. So you can check our calendar on our site and it shows right, you all the Saturdays you ahead so you can see what's going what on. What you're but interested in. Or, yeah, yeah, and the Magnetism Show is actually a really good show. It's got a lot of uh, interesting things you didn't know about magnets that you'll find out. So nice. It's a lot of fun. So I can drop in for that one. So busy as always. Yeah. What did you bring us today, Gord? Well, I brought you in. Uh, I think, no, Susan was in last time because I think it was yeah. under, under the weather. So yes. And she had missed doing the hydrogen explosion. So I thought oh. I'd bring that in. Okay, let's <laughs> so, do it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give you, what, we're, what I'm going to use for this is I use calcium. Um, now, calcium as an element looks, doesn't, doesn't look anything like we're used to seeing. We usually think it's a white thing because it's usually in a compound. This is just pure calcium. Okay. So I'm just going to drop a bit in the bottom of here. Oops, if I can scoop properly today. I guess that's considered a bit. There we go. And we're both going to do the experiment in a slightly different timing so we can see what happens. So okay. I'll give you that container. Thank you. And you've got a container, uh, a with water, and you've got another container there. Okay. And I've got the same setup, and then we've got a candle, I'm going to light, and we've got a splint. Okay. So the idea is we're going to put the water and the calcium together, which is going to create a reaction. Right. And it's going to be a bubbly reaction, it's going to get warm on the bottom. Okay. And when that happens, I'm going to get you to flip this over and just sit it on top. Okay. As soon as the water, you're going to dump in the water and do that because we're getting hydrogen coming off the reaction. So right. it's going to be lighter than the air, you want to catch it. So we're both going to do basically the same reaction. And we're going to catch the hydrogen in this bottle. And then, and, once then I, and then we're going to light it up and see if it's really hydrogen because hydrogen burns really well. Okay, let's and do fast. it. And we need to... Oh, we have to put our, put safety, our safety goggles, goggles on. on too, just in case some flames play around or something like that. Well, well let's hope not. Marcel, <laughs> don't let that happen. Yeah, Marcel, take Come care. and save us if it does. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, all you have to do now then is, is just dump the water into the one with the calcium in it. Okay, let's do it. Is you go ahead with a big old dump. And it should start bubbling away for us. Yeah, it is bubbling. And then put it's the bubbling. top one on like so. And we just hang out there for a second. Okay. And if you, you can see, it's starting to get quite a good reaction. Oh, oh and yeah. And you can feel the bottom here a second, it'll be getting warmer. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah. So it's a nice reaction now. So what we've got now is a container. Oh, it's getting warm, Gord. Yeah, so it gets nice and warm. So it, it's an exothermic reaction that creates heat. So now in order to check this off, I'll just show you what you have to do here and then you can try it too. Okay. It's gonna make a pop. So I'm gonna light the flint a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully the smoke detectors don't go off on it. And pick it up like so, Kids, and then just tilt home. it, and, Whoa. and then we can do it one Whoa. two. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to drop this one in there just to put it out. Okay. And you can do the same so thing. you're going to make me do that, I'm going to make you do that, yeah. You want this to, is when the whole place okay, might. Keep that Oops, like that. Okay, there you go. Because okay. that one, you might have got all the hydrogen out of it. Like so, and then try that one. That's fun. And then just drop it right That's in. really fun. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And if you notice... We're on, safe, it's good. We're safe, it's Nothing done. happened. And if you, you can see in the camera on here, there's a little bit of fogging in yeah. there. Yeah. That is because we burned hydrogen. When you burn hydrogen, you create water. Right. So that's the, that's the big thing about um, hydrogen fuel mm -hmm. cells and so forth, is that the byproduct is just water. Yeah. So this so. is a, an experiment that... Um, <laughs> Maybe you'd want an adult around for yeah. her. Yes. Well, the trick is, is getting a hold of this is not, you can't go pick you up can't the corner store. You can't just go pick it up at the uh, dollar store or something no. like that, right? But it's it's one of those reactions we can have a color. One you can do at home, which is a little bit different, is yeah. vinegar and baking soda creates yes. carbon dioxide. Okay. I think you did that with Susan, where you're able to put the Susan, flint yeah. in and it'll actually put the fire out. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of handy for that. So that would be yeah. one that yeah. uh, you could try at home. And I do want to mention this if I got a second. I yes, don't know, of I do. Course. Okay, so we have on the end of the month, January 30th, is our lecture series with the Kiwanis, who's sponsored at the Science Center. And it's coming up as Introduction to Brain Health with Alzheimer's Society of British Columbia is oh, going to be there. Oh, that's so important. So it is. So if you wanted to see about, you know, introduction and how to deal with some brain health issues and things, that's on the 30th. It's a Wednesday, a Wednesday I believe. Yes, a Wednesday night. And it's at the Science Center. It's free to come. But we want you to RSVP, just let us know you're coming. So, yeah. um, But it's a, it'll be an event that, uh, where you can learn about some early brain health, how to deal with that sort of thing. So it's quite an interesting talk. Yeah. And it's what, one in a series where the Kiwanis is sponsored with us. What does it mean for you guys to have that happening? Well, it's great. The like, Kiwanis was going forward. Yeah, because we'd started with um, 
with this, our speaker series yeah. you know, a bit, and we're starting to build on it. And then Kiwanis came up and said, well, we could help sponsor it, which just helps us get different speakers in and, you know, offer a little coffee and tea if you want, that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Right? So it's been building a little bit. It's good. It's a nice, close, small venue. We get about 80 people to max. So it's, a, it's an intimate venue, so we get to talk to our speakers directly, and some of them that come in, you, you don't often get a chance to actually speak to them personally. Right. So this is an opportunity for that as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks, Gord. Thanks for coming in, letting well, us know everything in. that's happening at yeah. the Science Center. Of course, doing a little experiment, as I always, always. look forward to. Yeah. Uh, we really appreciate that. For more information, you can visit the Big Little Science Center's website, which, of course, they have their calendar and everything there. You can find out what's happening over the next little while. There's the phone number as well. We're back in a couple of minutes here on Midday. Stay with us.